Good morning. It's a bit of a chilly start up there and we've got some fog, but that will clear, albeit quite slowly, through the course of this morning. It's also a bit of a cloudy start and we have a look at the picture across Scotland. Here you can see some of that cloudy weather, particularly out towards the north and west. We've got a band of rain trying to push through. But you know what, for a lot of the UK as we head further south, it's a pretty dry pitch. A lot of Northern Ireland, Northern England, England, Wales generally having a dry start with some gaps. But there is that yellow warning for fog and it will take a little bit of time to clear as we head through the rest of this morning. But generally speaking, most places will have a similar day to yesterday. That means a lot of dry weather with some sunshine. The best of sunshine though will be across parts of Wales and the West Midlands uh, with parts of Northwest Scotland. Just seeing that cloud and rain encroaching ever so slightly further as we head through the afternoon. Temperatures generally about a degree up on yesterday, not feeling a huge benefit with the exception of parts of Wales and the Midlands where that sunshine hopefully will uh, make it feel that little bit warmer than yesterday. And as we head through the rest of today, we just start to see that rain across western Scotland creeping in ever so slightly. A bit of rain also starts to develop across northwest Wales, northwest England, but for most it's a pretty dry evening with a few more clear spells around. So for any fireworks parties, most should get away with a dry night. It will turn a little bit chilly. Down towards the south, though, we do have a weather system approaching, and that really sets the tone for Saturday. Looks like quite a wet start, actually, to the weekend with that rain moving through. And then things replaced by some blustery showers moving in from the northwest. And for most of us, it'll feel that bit colder than the last few days have. And you can stay up to date, as always, on the Met Office app and the Met Office website. Bye-bye.